Hey everybody, it's Ken here with another lantern video. And believe it or not, look what I got for you guys. I really can't believe it. I am so stoked on this one. I got this thing back together, the Rayo 124. And boy, have I got a story to tell you guys with this. Oh my goodness. Now, a few videos back, uh, this was donated to me by a subscriber, Cal Pilot, friend of mine, Brian. Yep, and he said uh, I could say his name, and he was... Uh, Pretty, pretty happy with that. He gave me this thing, and uh, I think he said he got it at Jacktown or somewhere. He bought it somewhere, and uh, it was really, really in poor shape, and I, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And uh, as you can see, I got a whole lantern back, back out of it. In fact, I put fuel in it a couple hours ago. I haven't even lit the thing yet. Uh, in fact, the wick, I know the wick needs trimming for a fact, but... I'm not even going to go there because it's actually kind of hard. Uh, yeah, I don't know where to begin, but I'm not. Uh, short end of the story is as many lanterns as I have, this is my first type of coach lantern or, or auto, old auto lantern as they call it or whatnot. So I'm not really familiar. I'm not really too familiar with these myself. I mean, they're no different, uh, you know basically than any other lantern except well the fact being that you have a you have a hard shield mounted behind it so when you normally service a lantern uh, the globe and the globe plate normally swings back out of the way so you're able to access the burner the cone everything this here it's a little different it kind of tips forward but still doesn't really give you good access to things so um, amongst other things one of the one of the things that I, I did the the original clip was actually broken off of it it was actually roached out anyway so I put a removable clip so that I can actually remove the globe plate fairly easily however it's still it's still a little bit of tweaking with a with a needle nose pliers you know to get it on you know kind of right and so forth but anyway I mean uh, I got the thing functioning funny thing is like I said, so I'm not really that familiar with these. So it's a Rayo 124. I tried, uh, I went online and tried to get some images, and there's not a whole lot of images that I really, really was able to find. I was only able to find a couple images, and the ones that I found right away uh, had the elongated globe, sort of like this, you know, your Deitch Jr., your your Chinese. Uh, lantern and so forth and uh, I was thinking oh, you know that's funny maybe they made two different models because as I received this thing was basically in pieces to begin with um, with this globe but you know obviously the globe plate is made for a squat globe the chimney is made for a squat globe obviously you know when you have these uh, other types of lanterns you have a more you know you have a smaller diameter globe plate you have a smaller diameter chimney because it's a uh, it's a smaller so I thought well you know they, maybe they made two models of these so you know like I said short end of the story after I put this thing all back together comes to find out now I know why it was in pieces now I know why it was all apart now I know why I was missing the crown I think somebody had tried to convert this to the smaller globe and gave up because after I finally, well, almost finally got it back together, comes out, turns out that there was about a 5 8 inch gap between the top of the globe and the chimney. So, one of the things, one of the things I had to do is I, if you look closely, I had to actually make an adapter plate uh, for that to fill it to fill in that gap. Uh, so, in other words, it's kind of a Frankenstein lantern, but I really didn't want to spend too much on it and I just kind of wanted to to get it back to to what it was originally so um but anyway and you know so we go along into the story a little further but before we do I'm really really anxious to see if this thing even works why don't we light it up and uh, why don't we see what it does because uh, I like I said this is actually the first time I have not tried this. The wick has been soaking for a good couple of hours now, and I'm just I'm just really curious to see what this is going to look like. 
Wow. All right. And it does need a little trimming. But she works. I'll be gosh darn. Look at that. And uh, it was also missing the it was also missing the lens. I had to get a lens. Now the lens I got, I have no idea actually even if it's uh, for this type of application. But uh, I went off a of measurement and uh, worked out perfectly. I picked it up off of eBay and uh, worked out for me perfectly. I was able to I was able to get it in there. I actually had to make a bracket. I had to make the whole I had to make the whole assembly and uh, to get it in there but um, yeah so I mean I have some notes the whole I'll post the pictures as I'm talking the whole the whole bottom was roached out the, the, the bottom was roached out on the thing uh, it was like potato chips I basically had to just uh, go in there and remove the whole bottom and then uh, yeah clean it up it was all jagged around 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 the bottom there we'll, we'll, I'll give you some pictures of the, of the new bottom and we'll talk about it and then uh, shortly after I removed the bottom uh, the burner was the burner was seized in there too so go to pop the burner out and what do you know the whole burner housing the whole burner ring pops out too <laughs> so what am I gonna do so well you'll see in the pictures I, I needed something to to fix that so what do I do I go to my local big box store Home Depot Lowe's I think it was Lowe's I, uh, I've been working on this thing for so long I think it was Lowe's and I went to the plumbing section and I end up coming up with a to be honest with you I don't even know what it is I should have saved the package but it was a, a plumbing fixture you'll see in the pictures that I actually had to cut down uh, solder in and then uh, yeah, it was pretty much the same size as as, as the burner, so uh, I was able to fix that. And yeah, you'll you'll see the you'll see the pictures as how how I fit that in. And then, of course, like I said, the bottom. So I made a new bottom out of a piece of sheet metal. Sheet metal. I kind of made it a little bigger than I had to. I traced it around with a sharpie. Then I, I then I cut it out the best I could and then I trimmed it uh, as close as I could with the with the Wiss uh, metal shears uh, that's what I that's what I couldn't think of the name of it so and then and then like I said um, after that I soldered it in soldered the bottom in but you know, it was there was a lot of like I couldn't get down to really good metal so my solder job actually didn't turn out for the best. I mean, mechanically, it, it was in there, but I knew I knew I was still going to have a bunch of leaks. So then, what I did is I actually uh, masked off the. I made like an inner ring. I masked it off, and then I used some PC7 epoxy, and then I covered that, sanded that all down, and made it. Yeah, I made it. You know, dressed it up the best I could. Made it look. Made it look what it, you know the best I could. And then somewhere after that, uh, in between, um, I think I'm missing some steps here. Let me turn this down just a little bit. But uh, it was very, very rusty. Very rusty. I had to, I had to spend a lot of time uh, rust removal, uh, sanding, and then the, the rust oleum, uh, the rust oleum spray. Actually, uh, yeah. Where did I do with that? Let me just excuse me a minute here. I should have put this out spent a lot of time with this using the rust-oleum rust dissolver gel soaking things down and then uh, hitting it with scotch bright and steel wool yeah de-rusting it and then I finally put a paint job on it and um, that, now that was before yeah that was before I still had the crown and the chimney the chimney assembly that was another that was another fiasco. That was that was actually, yeah the the inner chim the um, the inner chimney assembly, all the tabs were broken off. So I had to retab that, as well as the outer chimney assembly. All the tabs were broken off of that. 
and the crown was was missing the crown was actually missing too so uh, I happen to have this is this is uh, another kind of Frankenstein uh, piece this is actually from an old Dietz uh, I believe it's from a junior I had a junior that was all roached out and I just saved the few I think I think I saved the bale I think I saved the crown uh, maybe the fuel cap or something like that and the glow oh, the globe obviously but there was really nothing nothing left nothing left of the rest of the lantern so was able to adapt that uh gosh uh where, where else let me see yeah and then uh oh yeah and then the uh the lens the the, the rear lens right i had to make the assembly for that so yeah so what did i end up, what i ended up doing is i ended up making a gasket actually out of a 12 gauge uh, Romex insulation. I, I took the, pulled the wire, pulled the copper wire out of a piece of Romex, slit the, uh, slit the insulation down the middle as good as I could, and then I kind of, I kind of made like a gasket out of that, glued that in, set the lens in there, and then I had to uh, cut out a lens uh, holder. I used the another piece of tin with a hole saw. Then I lined it up, marked the location of the slits, drilled those out, put tabs on it, soldered those in. You'll you'll see the you'll see the pictures, and then I painted that, and uh, yeah, end up end up crimping that in. And uh, yeah, this is like a three. <laughs> I'm trying to think. This is like a three week uh, process. A little bit a little bit every night working on this thing, and. I almost gave up a couple times. I almost gave up, but uh, what I think what it kept me going is that I already I already spent money for this uh, for this lens. I think it was about a I think I ended up getting it for about ten dollars or something like that. And I said, well, I got the pieces, I got the lens. Let's just keep on going and see where it ends up. And then uh, yeah, when I found out when I put this back together and found out that it was that it was uh, you know kind of Frankenstein there like I said it's supposed to be an elongated globe but I have a whole working liner now and uh, I don't think it came out half bad I mean I was able to save it and uh, yeah big shout out to Brian Cal Pilot I got your I got it back got it all back together and uh, it's it's burning fine it's still fine yeah, like I said that wick wick has got to be trimmed but uh, yeah, that's that's a little bit of a, a fiasco to to get the. I mean, it does it does tip forward and and you know I, I could do that, but but for now I'm I'm just happy that it's that it's that's burning that good and it looks that great. And uh, this is one this has had to be the most challenging project that I ever had to date on a lantern. And uh, yeah, but but we got it. We saved it and we got it. So, big shout out to Brian again, and thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you real soon with another video. Take care everybody. Bye bye.